Hey everybody, Kevin from 3D Printed Props. I'm laughing because I just said parts again a few seconds ago, 3D Printed Parts. 3D Printed Props. Uh, and today we are going to be building, well actually I've already built it, but today I'm going to show you the video for the Scar from Fortnite. This thing is sick. It is crazy real looking. And oh, I'm always going to keep my finger here as somebody told me. Um, let's take a look how I built it. Alrighty, so it has been printed and sanded, and this is a model by the amazing Yuri. Check out his link down in the description below over Patreon. And I'm, of course, using a liberal amount of glue. You know how I like glue. By the way, I ran out of the stuff I usually use. Do not buy that blue Loctite stuff, it runs like water, it is horrible. <laughs> And now I decided to go ahead and uh, mix up some Bondo and Bondo some of these cracks because they're pretty, uh, you know, they're decent sized cracks to um, sand away so that we don't see any of those revealing lines. And uh, remember, you know, you might want to use gloves because this stuff is sticky and gross and it smells horribly. So definitely put a mask on. All right. Going to go ahead and start painting the scar and I'm in my dad's workshop because it's pouring out all right and of course at the shop and doing some priming of all these little pieces parts and then gave it the final paint and a lot of little parts not as many as the shotgun but some pieces parts here and Yuri does an amazing job with instructions and this one was fairly easy but there were a few pieces I wasn't quite sure now what I'm doing is I'm using a pretty aggressive rasp here just to scrape up some of the uh, paint off of here because sometimes the paint will uh, come off uh, and it won't bond right. So I usually scrape the edges and again, don't get this glue and it's terrible. And just sliding these pieces in the, in the place and <laughs> more glue. I don't think I needed that much glue. But uh, I did have a problem with the shotgun where the uh, some pieces came off. I ended up using epoxy. So there we go. That slides right into place. Now, you may have noticed uh, the video. I've got this little weird distortion happening. Something's wrong with my camera. I'm going to be getting a different one for my overhead cam. So those will go away. And now we're going to put those little... Um, I'm going to just like everybody who knows about guns are going to totally freak out. Because I'm going to call those ear things <laughs> put those little those little guys there they're for something i'm assuming it's uh for aiming <laughs> and uh all right handle time and here you can really see just the really the, the amazing amount of um the tolerances he sets yuri sets i mean that thing just slides in just a little bit of a force necessary it's perfect and now we're going to put on the little uh, cool little pieces parts that he adds to really make things look really authentic uh, Some of them are going to need to get sanded some of them are going to need to get um, uh, Painted so that they look uh, more a little bit uh, better uh, Because uh, some of my uh, sandpapering uh, went a little crazy and we'll get the trigger on now I would recommend using epoxy for the trigger since your finger is on that the most and the way this slots in, I needed to make sure it really stayed on at the top part. It wasn't locking in. Uh, I, that's not Yuri's fault in his design. That's, you know, you get paint in there and a little bit of the um, primer. And that caused that, to, or not primer, but Bondo, and that caused it to happen. All right, so I printed in, uh, painted in some details, and now it's the fun weathering time. And again, these are just cheap acrylic uh, paints and cheap brushes. Uh, you can go to the links below to find everything that I use. They are affiliate links. Uh, if you click on them, they help the channel out. Uh, again, it helps me buy filament and uh, pretty much all well, filament, really. <laughs> Let's be honest. We all need filament. And there it is. Man, this thing is sharp. All right. So there it is. The Fortnite Scar. This is fan. Fantastic. Uh, it feels great in the hand. Um, I don't know if I can actually take this into a con. I'll be perfectly honest because it is a real gun. Crazy look. Not a real gun, but it looks like a real gun. So uh, it's pretty dangerous looking. Um, I did, however, uh, think about making some caps. So we might be doing a video 
on that. Um, okay, if you liked the video, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you're interested in anything that I use to make this build or any of my builds, check out the links below. There's also some uh, coupon codes to 3D printers um, and also my Patreon page where I'll be releasing files and little extras. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. I've got my finger here. It's not on the trigger. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thank you.